Today we're going to be talking about might farming for your conquerors challenge here in Albion Online. If you don't know what your conquerors challenge is, all you need to do is go to your activities tab, click on conquerors challenge, and it will open up the conquerors challenge for the season that you're currently in. Now at the top we have weekly rewards. So we can work to get a Grand Conqueror's chest, which is a tier 8 Grand Conqueror's chest. Has a lot of rewards in it. Silver bags, Tomes of Insight, it can even have a Baby Mammoth. There are lots of rewards and benefits that you get for completing this chest every week. And then the bottom, if you have Premium, you have your Seasonal Rewards. And with these Seasonal Rewards, there are different things that you can get, such as the Night Vows, which give you Combat and Gathering Fame increased by a certain percentage, depending on the one that you get. And it lasts for 90 days. So you can go all the way up and get all the way up to these challenges as well as you can unlock battle mounts worth millions of silver and you get profile icons so if we go all the way to the end we have the crystal goliath horse eater worth right now at the moment it's worth 9.3 mil at the time of this video is the estimated market value and then you get a profile picture at the end and the last night vow you get is the elder's night vow which gives you combat and gathering fame increased by 10 percent for 90 days when you activate it after you get it so you're going to get this in your inventory when the season's over if you have it unlocked and you use it and then you get the bonus so all of this this, as well as the favorite points that you get that you can spend at the there is a shop within the game and with that shop there are tier 7 conqueror's chests that you can buy and use and open up they have tomes of insight they have silver bags you can also buy elders tomes of insight so the reason that you would want to farm these up is that there's a ton of rewards as well as everything that i just showed you now there are a ton of ways to farm up your might and conquerors points here in albion online and most and the best way to do it is going to be guild content so it's going to be open world large chests medium chests chests we have uh, castles you can clear there's vortexes you can grab there's tons of different activities you can do out there in a guild but if you are a solo player which is going to be the theme of this video it's going to be much more of a challenge to get your conquerors challenge done just because you are a solo player and you're not working with guild content maybe you don't have a lot of time maybe you don't want to put in the effort and energy required to be in a guild so i'm going to teach you the best way to might farm as a solo player and right from the get-go we're going to talk about the mists the new beyond the veil update brought the Mists of Avalon here to Albion Online, and it is one of the best updates for solo players that has come in a long time. And the reason is, is because the might that is offered in these mists is substantial. When it comes to open world, you can open small chests. You can try to fight for some small chests. Sometimes you'll get free ones. Sometimes you will have a group roll up and you're not going to be able to get it. As well as there's different things you can do open world like escorting cores and stuff with guilds. And they are very good for might. But again, you are dealing with zergs and larger groups that are out there that you're going to have to hopefully avoid if you are escorting cores or doing small chests by yourself. Just because, you know, if they're out there and they're grabbing them, you're not going to be able to get them. And it's not as it's not as guaranteed to get might. But when it comes to the miss, there is the best might farming for solo players in there. And let me show you why. There are small camps. There are large camps you can clear. And there are wisps that you can escort as well as there's these little arcane crystal spiders that are a little bit smaller version of the crystal spiders you see in open world. As well as there are small chests that you can open up inside the mist. Now, all of these will grant you might if you do these activities. And here I'm going to pull up a spreadsheet that shows you the type of might that you will get when doing these activities so for example if you clear a large camp in a t6 common wisp so the wisps that are in the open world in the lethal zones this is all lethal content by the way all might all types of might and conquerors challenges is black zone content you cannot work on this in yellow zone so for a t6 a tier 6 common wisp if you go in there and clear a large camp and you're not in a guild you're not getting any might bonuses you're gonna get 712 might if you go into a t6 uncommon 826 a t Tier 6 rare, you're going to get 1,045 for every large camp clear. And then the values below that correspond to the small camp clears. And then if you jump over to the T7, we have uncommon, rare, and epic. That's the amount you're going to be getting. I do have some X's on here because there's some data that I did not collect. But just seeing all this data is not as relevant. I mostly want to show you the common, uncommon, and rare for the T6 and T7s because these are going to be the wisps that you're mostly going to be spending your time in while you are farming. You will get T8s every now and again. You will get some small chests. You might be able to escort some wisps in a T8 as well as clear some camps but those aren't as common so i just want to show you the type of might that you're going to be getting on a regular basis as you are farming we have wisps so for example a t6 uncommon wisp that i went into and then i saw a turbulent miss on the map and i went and escorted this for the Wisps, still having this board here, we have the Rare Blue in a T6 Uncommon worth 4,820. And we have an Uncommon Green, which is just a green Wisp. And again, we're in a T6 Uncommon Mist, 
it's worth 3,994. Now we did do a crystal spider two in a tier six rare and we got 1147 might, you know, that's not, I mean, that's not substantial, but we also got like 500k silver from it. So it does drop loot. But overall, there are tons of activities and stuff that you can do in the mist to slowly work on your conquerors challenge. And at the same time, it is a solo mist. So the mists are a one V one V one, et cetera, experience. I've seen up to seven other people in there when we're all running around on the same objective, just all looking at at each other but at the end of the day it's a 1v1 v1 experience there's no teams in there so this is going to going to be by far the safest place to might farm here in albion online and i it's there's no other way to put it it's the safest place right now for solo players to might farm as you don't have to deal with the groups of the open world you don't have to constantly be dodging zergs you don't have to be worried about some invis guy and huge group of just bear paws come flying in on you while you're doing medium and small chests or trying to escort any type of open world cores and you also don't have to worry about trying to get into a guild that has like call to arms or has tons of expectations from you if you are a solo player you are busy a lot of us don't have a lot of time to dedicate to guilds in this game and you maybe you can only play the game a couple hours a day and you're trying to work on your conquerors challenge this is going to be the best way to do it in the mist of avalon the new the new update that came out that did bring us the mist this is going to be the best way to might farm it up if you are unfamiliar with the activities you can do in the mist i have another video on the youtube channel covering some of the content and stuff that you can do in there and these are the same that you'll be doing for your might farming that's gonna be it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope you got the information you need to start might farming as a solo player here in albion online if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video and i'll see all of you in albion online